What's up guys, it's Victor here again. So I started using Android in 2013 and my first device was the HTC Desire 4G. I've been using Android since then and switching intermittently and briefly to Apple. But recently I've decided to fully join the iPhone gang. I put all my Android devices in the drawer and settled for a life with an iPhone 12 and iPhone XR. Admittedly, the iPhone does some things extremely well even for a long time Android user like myself. However, there is also a handful of things about the iPhone and its software iOS that I hate with gross fury and passion. So, should you get the iPhone 12? Like I said earlier, there are things the iPhone does remarkably well and here they are. Haptics are an important but underrated way of interacting with a smartphone and Apple understands this very well. The Taptics or Haptics engine on iPhones is fantastic. The haptic feedback is strong and powerful and I've seen nothing like it on the Android side. On iPhones, it feels like you are pressing real physical buttons. Google Pixel phones have the best haptics on Android, but they are not even a worthy contender and are far behind Apple's iPhones. Apple devices don't come with massive battery packs, but even so, iPhones still outlast their Android counterparts. Apple prioritizes battery life on the iPhone and iOS has always been very strict with app developers and how they siphon battery power. It slowly added new features to the OS and apps are kinder to your battery as a result. The iPhone 12 will last an entire day even if you use it like Dwayne Johnson. The 2815mAh battery on the iPhone 12 can outlast most 4000mAh battery Android devices. The iPhone's mute switch is a fast and easy way to stop your phone from disgracing you by quickly turning your phone to silent mode without getting into the phone. The switch toggle doesn't have enough room to travel but you get that satisfying and delightful click sound when you switch and an haptic feedback when you switch to the silent mode. It's so easy and reliable that you can even change the ringer mode while the phone is in your pocket. Wow, you made it so far into this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon for more awesome contents like this one. Sharing content with social media and the internet at large is easy these days, but sharing something securely with a person right next to you can sometimes be a hassle on Android. There is Flash Share, Zender, Mi Share, Quick Share and Wi-Fi Direct on Samsung devices and now Google just introduced Nearby Share which is supposed to work flawlessly across all Android devices. Even that has its own shares of ups and downs. On the iPhone, it's a fluid affair thanks to AirDrop. AirDrop works like magic. The recipient has the option to accept or decline each transfer. Sharing files with my MacBook has never been this easy. On Android, you'd have to download a different file manager on your Mac called Android File Transfer, which has a restricted interface and is a hassle to use. But switching to the iPhone 12 made my life so much easier. Since the iPhone 12 was launched, it has received two software updates, iOS 14.2 and iOS 14.3 and it's expected to get up to 5 years of OS updates and these software updates are available around the world simultaneously to all supported iPhones and regardless of wireless carriers. Even more impressive, the company pushed iOS 14 to the iPhone 6S which was released 5 years ago. Coming for Android, the situation is heartbreaking. The latest Samsung flagships, the S20s and the Note 20s are yet to get Android 11. And when they eventually get Android 11, Android 12 should have been out by then. Only Google Pixel devices get software updates as soon as the updates are available and it's not good. It's hard to admit but developers still prioritize developing apps for iOS first before considering Android. The live streaming app Periscope was available on iOS 2 months before Android. The mobile pro film making app Filmic Pro was available on iOS long before it came to Android. Twitter's voice tweets feature is only available for iOS users right now and the list goes on. I stopped using Android Face Unlock feature when my friend used my photograph to unlock my phone while I was sleeping and I've never gone back to it ever since. On the iPhone 12, there is no fingerprint sensor or touch ID, there is only the Face Unlock system otherwise called Face ID. It is fast and extremely reliable and it works well in low light. It's so dependable that if you are facing your phone but your eyes are not on the phone, your device won't be unlocked. That's how strict it can be. The range of Apple products has grown notably in recent years. The company started with computers and has since added music players, tablet computers and smartwatches to their product selection. Today Apple provides a wide range of products and services for various purposes. 
The devices work flawlessly and you don't need to install a separate app to bring all your devices together. I can start using an application on my iPhone 12 and continue from where I stopped on my Mac. I can choose to make or accept phone calls from my iPhone on my Mac as long as they are on the same Wi-Fi network and it's crazy. On Windows and Android, you would need to download an application called your phone companion on your Android phone as well as on your Windows PC. Apple phones keep their resale value far better than Android phones. iPhones are made with keen attention to details and they get softer bits for a very long time, which goes a long way in helping them maintain their resale value. A used iPhone XR launched two years ago is being sold for $400 or $500 on eBay and Amazon and it's crazy. Alright, so many good things about my iPhone 12 and coming from an Android device, there are also things I miss on my Samsung Galaxy S10 device. Try as you might, you'll never escape Apple's default apps on the iPhone. You can install a different Maps app, music player and so on, but they will be treated like second-class apps on Apple's platform. But just recently on iOS 14, Apple now allows you to set a third-party email client and a browser as the default app. Apple were the first to push a virtual assistant to their devices. That was a remarkable feat at the time until Google introduced the Google Assistant. Even so, the Google Assistant is more intelligent and reliable and can do more things than Apple's Siri. I am heavily invested in USB Type-C at this point. I have accessories, headphones and other peripherals that use the new standard. So moving to Apple's lightning port was extremely disruptive. USB-C is not only universal, it supports extremely fast charging speeds. Even with Apple's new faster charger, many Android phones leave it in the dust. Apple has already moved to USB-C on tablets and laptops, so it's probably just a matter of time until it does the same on phones. Until then, iPhone users are stuck with this proprietary cable. And whether or not the iPhone 12 is worth risking my peace of mind to face SaaS and police brutality to young Nigerians using iPhones is a topic for another day. Overall, my experience was enjoyable. The iPhone 12 is a great phone, I must confess, and I recommend it to almost everyone. The camera is top-notch, the phone runs smoothly, the tactile feedback gives me bumps, and the operating system is easy to navigate. But in the end, it might not pass as my daily driver. I am more efficient on my Android device and I love the Google Assistant. I also like that I can make my device look and feel unique with custom icons, launchers, widgets, and home screens and I don't need to be afraid of SaaS or SWAT. Android is more of a natural and softer fit for me. Talking about natural and softer, Genesis tissue paper is both natural and soft. Produced under a closed hygienic environment and with keen attention to details, it is safe to say that your soft areas are in soft hands. It's not dusty and it doesn't change color like a litmus paper when exposed to sunlight. With Genesis tissue, there is no need to wipe and wipe again because one wipe takes it all away. They supply to all parts of Nigeria and I have the contact details of the supplier and distributor in the description box below. Please subscribe if you're not and please don't hesitate to like and share this video. Thank you for watching this one and I'll see you when I see you in the next one.